All right, Big T. What's up? Sound off, fam. What you what you teed off about? This is big because so Big I, T said this is his biggest ever. I don't want to overpromise, but I'm heated. Um, okay. So I have. I'll, I'll, I'll let you pick. I'll let you pick, Aaron. I have a good tee. I have a teed up and a teed off. The teed up is oh, positive. Okay. Do you okay. want to start positive and then get into the the anger or vice versa? No, no, no. Let's 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 start dark. I'm, I'm okay. In a, I'm in a dark mood. And okay. Then you can lead us up out of it. Yeah, I'm with that. So this Saturday, me up. I went to uh, uh, one of the Christmas gifts I got my girlfriend was we went to this show. It was they showed the last Harry Potter movie. And there was an orchestra that like played the music live along with it. It was that's, fi- that's a fire idea. Yeah, it was it was cool. Um, so we get there, we go to our seats, and there's people sitting in them. I assumed they were in the wrong seats because I was certain these were the right ones. I said, "Hey, these are our seats." They're like, "No, they're not. They're ours." And I was like, "I sh- I showed them my ticket, and they showed me theirs, and they said the same thing. They had this exact same numbers and row on it." Thirty seconds later, a guy comes up, woman sitting next to him, he's like, "Hey, this is my seat." And she was like, no, oh, this, this is mine. <laughs> and I was like, let me see y'all's tickets. So there were eight or nine in a row that they had sold multiple times. Oh, so they oh, have no. 20 Jail. people for these eight seats. And so I go and get somebody and I explain the situation and they bring the manager or whatever. And she's like, okay, I'm going to go down and, and get this figured out. The show is starting at this point. And I'm like, so what are we supposed to do while you do this? She's like, there's a TV right here. And I was like, I didn't pay to be here to watch it on a TV. And she's like, well, I don't know what to tell you. And so they stick us in this limited view box where we stand there for 20 minutes while they go do this. They come back. They're like, okay, we have different seats for you. So they usher us out again. So we've missed, by the time we sit down somewhere, we've missed most of the first part of this. So during the intermission, which, by the way, didn't need an intermission for a movie. Also, that turned this into a three and a half hour experience. Anyway... Uh, I go down to the box office and I'm like, hey, I explain what happened. I'm like, I'm not paying for this. Like, y'all are going to give me a refund. This is Hell insane. Yeah, Big T. And the woman's like, well, are you leaving? And I'm like, uh, no, I paid to be here, but I this has been a horrible experience. I'm not leaving. My girlfriend wasn't with me. I couldn't have walked out in front of her at that moment, even if I wanted to, which I did want to. Um, <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm yelling at this. She's like, well, if you don't walk out right now in front of me, there's nothing I can do. And I'm like, this is insane. Like what y'all are pulling. And she, she literally just sat there to my face, refused to do anything about it. And, and as I was storming off, I was like, well, y'all should just sell five tickets for every seat for every show you have. This is the New Jersey Performing Arts Center, by the way, for anyone uh, looking at shows there. Do not go. Fuck the New Jersey Performing Arts Center. Okay. Um, and I was like, y'all should just sell five tickets to every seat for every show and then refuse to give people refunds if, since that's what y'all are doing. So I sent another sternly worded email this morning. Uh, I was mm-hmm. I was not going to go off on them if they resolved it by the time we taped the Ooh, show. They have we, not. Can we read? Can we can we read this Karen email? Yeah, this I mean, it's just can, it's it's just recapping we... what I just said. Okay. But uh, did you use you know to whom it may concern shit like that? Uh, I just said I attended the Harry <laughs> Potter show on Saturday. I had the worst customer ex- customer service experience of my life. Y'all sold multiple tickets for several seats, leaving my girlfriend and I as well as several other people being run around the theater for the majority of the first half of the show. We were standing outside the seating area for, I explained all that, uh, to have something I paid for as a Christmas gift to my girlfriend ruined and to have y'all be so rude was very upsetting. My tickets were under Ticketmaster order blank. I expect a full refund as soon as possible. Uh, please let me know when this issue is resolved. So they have yet to respond to that also. Uh, oh, wow. I, I'll take this, I'll take this to the federal government if I have to, nice. I will be receiving a refund for that experience. <laughs> How much were the tickets? Like probably 150 total. I don't know. I'm I'm on your side here, man. They they, they got to do something to compensate. Oh, they it was give you free you know, drinks. Oh, oh, nothing. oh no, you know what she did? She handed me a fucking free drink coupon as I as I was. I, that made me so much more pissed. Coop, did you take it though? I I mean, she handed it to me with her card to send an email. So I I yeah, but I didn't use it. Damn. So if anybody needs free drinks at the New Jersey Theater. Don't, no, don't go. Don't go. (laughs) Do not go to the New Jersey Performing Arts Center ever. 